Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we are going to discuss the must-haves for 2022. Um, knowing that whatever roster you have right now is a bit missing a piece or two. So that is the knowledge that I'm going to discuss right now. Um, not the knowledge, but the problem that we're going to discuss right now. What do you need in terms of the factions or the brands that you're bringing? Okay, so let's start with the honorable mentions. I really have only two for honorable mentions because these two are going to be good when you pull for them. But they're going to be supplements to your current team because that current team is already good so we're starting off with tenma of course and uh we're going with this girl vivian so vivian is a specialist um i'm not sure what her translation is either she gives debuffs or removes debuffs it's really hard to decipher the text uh, when it's translated but um, but i'm sh assuming that uh, she removes debuffs does uh, five random attacks marks enemy for additional damage and her current rating is eight out of ten as you know tenma doesn't need additional you know additional help because tenma right now is really really advanced in terms of the figures that it has but again they are just going to be bonuses but they are of big value because they're rated at s right now so if you want to pick up vivian for your tenma team be my guest okay the other one that is going to be um really a, an option for you guys is or an honorable mention is going to be Rin. So Rin is also from Tenma. So currently we do have a Vanguard um, for Tenma, which is Alfred. But uh, I think Rin is going to be better than Alfred. So it's just a substitution whether you're going to go with her or you're going to go with Alfred or you're going to pair her with the current um, defender that they have, which is Crusos. Rin does massive damage for ultimate, ignores defense by 30%, and addresses a need for Vanguard just in case you have a spot in that direction. So she is actually rated an 8.5 out of 10. And again, she is of S tier um, as of her current ranking. Okay, to start off with our must-haves is I'm going to just review my rating for Deer. So Deer is uh, Tenma. She's a defender. She's a must-have, definitely. She is going to be paired with Crusos in the front line. If you prefer uh, Rin, then it's actually your choice. But again, she is, I think, of value because the play for Tenma is protect the back line because you have their Zerola. You have their um, uh, Zephyr and you have Vazer win. So again, the front line is very crucial. She will probably be replacing Megan in your Tenma team. So she does damage reduction by 50% to all allies. Gains buffs from Tenma allies as well. Um, she she gets you know she gets uh, gets them to trigger that. Gains energy from allies as well damage uh reduction to self for 16 percent and stacks up to up to four so that's a roughly around um i think that's 64 am i right yeah that's 64 and uh, boost the front line with crosses so Basically, she is going to be your wall together with Crossus to defend Tenma. So she's now rated a 9 out of 10 in Tenma. And really, I think, guys, she is going to be a must-have for you. Okay, so next on our must-haves is going to be Kizuna. So she belongs to Galatea. She is a vanguard. Really, um, I think Galatea needs more frontline uh, vanguard. And the other one later would be a defender. So she is going to be she is going to be addressing one of your needs. So ultimate uh, addresses offense and defense, complements it by, by basically recovery when dodging attacks. So she does continuous recovery, HP recovery when you dodge attacks, fast attack speed and increased damage, needs additional vanguard, definitely for Galatea. And she is rated a 9.5 
out of them. So again, another S tier that you want to prepare for just in case you want a Vanguard. So that is it for Vanguard Kisuna. Okay, guys, so the next is Ayani Okada. So she is Galitea and she's a defender. She will def definitely be replacing Yuki at the defender slot. That is why she is a must pull for you if you need a Galitea defender. Her ultimate freezes the target shielded when HP is 50% or less. And again, I can't stress this enough that you definitely need a tank or another tank for Galatea. She is rated a 10 out of 10. Definitely, she's going to be one of the best defenders in the game. And uh, she is definitely ranked S tier right now. Okay, we had two Let's Red and... Two of the last figures that I'm going to discuss are under militarist. So both of them are ranged. And actually, both of them address the need for Let's Red for another militarist. Currently, it's only Re that's there as militarist. So these two are going to be very important for you. We'll be starting with Yolanda. So this is Yolanda. And um, she actually has burns, increased attack speed. Actually, not burns. She, she does ignite. And increase attack speed, increase damage if her HP is 70% or more. And she increases HP absorption by 50% when HP is less than 70%. Okay, so definitely increase survivability for her. Additional damage to ignited enemies, which really is a good addition for your ignite team. Um, and again, she's rated at 8.5 over 10. Def she's definitely S tier right now um, for the other servers. And let's go to the next militarist and the last figure for this video. Okay, so we have here Hatsune. So again, she's le let's read militarist. Um, again, both of them, Yolanda and her, are going to be crucial in, you know, in bolstering Let's Red. She has anti-summons, damage increase when there are summons. Her ultimate is 30% coordinated attack with normal attack. So, once she does her ultimate, there's a 30% chance that she could do a coordinated attack with another figure if they're doing a normal attack. So... That is how good her ultimate is. And also summons a decoy when you leave, when she leaves the battlefield. She is currently rated at a 9 out of 10. So definitely she's going to be good. And she's also rated S at the moment. Okay, guys. So that is it for the must have sport 2022. So I hope you guys do subscribe to my channel because again, this helps my channel a lot. And also, don't forget, guys, to take care. Stay safe. It's 2022. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.